All right, thanks for watching. And even though it's not Halloween yet, let's celebrate in advance with a fun related rates problem. So consider this spooky gob, gob of goo, which you know as follows. A cylindrical gob of goo is undergoing some transformation in which its height is decreasing at the rate of one centimeters per second, while its volume is decreasing as well at the rate of two pi cubic centimeters per second. If at a given time the volume is 24 cubic centimeters and its height is six centimeters, determine if its radius is increasing or decreasing at that instance and what, at what rate. Again, a lot of info thrown at you, but what helps us is again drawing a picture. So what does the gob of goo look like? The important feature is that it's always a cylinder. Even though it might change radius or height, it's always cylindrical. So let's uh, draw a little picture. Again, a cylinder, what is it? What is it? It's a disc times the height. So here is the height of the, um, of the cylinder. Here is the radius. And the next thing we want to figure out, so I believe the problem is asking at which rate the radius is increasing or decreasing. So we want to find dr over dt. If I believe the volume is 24 pi and the height is 6. Very good. And then, of course, the next question is, do we know a formula that relates all our variables? And in fact, there is because notice the volume of the cylinder involves the radius and the height. So let's recall the volume. The volume is... Again, what's a cylinder? It's a disc times a height. So the volume is just the area of this disc, which is pi r squared, times the height, which is h. In particular, let's differentiate that. So dv over dt becomes, now this is a product of two functions. So we have to use the product rule. So pi times d over dt r squared times h plus pi r squared dh over dt dh over dt. And for this now, because it's the composition of two functions, we have to use the chain rule or the chain lu to get pi times 2r dr over dt h plus, again, pi r squared dh over dt. Okay. And now, in other words, again, let's rewrite this, uh, dv over dt is just, if you want, 2 pi r dr over dt h plus pi r squared dh over dt. Now let's figure out what we know. So that's quite interesting. Well, we know the volume is 24 pi, so we don't need this. We need that the height is six centimeters. And moreover, the height is decreasing at the rate of one centimeter per second. And the volume is decreasing at two pi centimeters per second. But be very careful. If the volume is decreasing, it means that dv over dt is negative. So in fact, this becomes negative 2 pi. Be very careful. dr over dt, that's what we want to find. h, we know it's 6. And then dh over dt, by the same spiel, we know that h is decreasing at a rate of 1. So dh over dt is minus 1. So in particular, notice the only thing that we still need to solve is for r. And 
for this, we just need to use the volume formula again. So what do we know? We know that the volume, it's pi r squared h. But in this case, the volume was 24 pi and the height is 6. So 24 pi is pi r squared times 6. So uh, you cancel out the pi and you essentially get r squared equals 4. And so r equals 2. And this we can plug in in the formula above. So we get minus 2 pi equals 2 pi times 2 times dr over dt times 6 plus pi 2 squared, which is 4, times minus 1. Okay. And then let's see what we get. So minus 2 pi equals, so I believe, 24 pi dr over dt. And then minus 4 pi. So we can solve this. So we'll put this on the left hand side and we get 4 pi minus 2 pi. So just 2 pi equals 24 pi dr over dt. And therefore, what we end up getting is dr over dt. It's 2 pi over 24 pi which is 1 over 12. So in other words, what's the answer? The answer is, well, first of all, this is positive. So R is increasing at a rate of 1 over 12. And I forgot the units. Let's see, centimeter per second. Which is interesting, even though uh, the height is decreasing and the volume is decreasing, it turns out that the radius is increasing. So the gob of goo, what it looks like, it may have looked so flat like that, but now it looks like very round. Something like that in some sense. All right, so that was this mini Halloween special in April, but I hope you like this. And if you wanna see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.